Welcome. How are you doing? This is King Tala. Welcome to the channel. You know the routine. This is a new channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider to do so. It's for the good cause. Okay. Uh, I'm still on the topic of how to manage your gigs. Before I'll be moving further and further uh, on the topic, I would like to revisit what I said um, last time to make sure that I get the details right. The other thing which I mentioned, uh, which I've been asked about is uh, why 200 songs? Why should you do about 200 songs before maybe you say you are ready um, to start your gigs? Okay, I will say uh, in this topic, I'm focusing more on people who want to take this as a, a career and have a long career out of it, not like doing it as a hobby. There's a lot of difference there. There are, there are a lot of people who like to do music, playing music as a hobby, even getting some small places in a restaurant just as a hobby. But yeah, I'm talking about someone who's taking this as a professional career and wanting to take it as long as it is in a quality way scene. So I will say 200 songs, the time you can be able to go and uh, to able to get to 200 songs which you can play. It means even you as a musician now, I will say you become better and better because you are about to deal with a lot of varied kind of um, different songs which you are supposed to be doing, which you will be doing actually. In 200 songs, we are talking about different genres, different artists who have played those songs. So it makes you a better musician as well. It makes you to open your, your, your eyes, open your mind um, in the way how you make your songs, you play your songs, even more if you are, you're going to be a composer. Imagine 200 songs a lot. So somehow you can be a better player than just having to play what only what you know maybe only comes up to eight and not much then you'll be eating one and one so it's better to make sure that you do a lot of study before you move forward then the second part which i want to illustrate is um why should you be talking with other artists who are performing it's uh as a musician it is good uh to have a good relationship with artists not that you'll be going after other artists but just trying to get um, a view, a view into the industry. Don't mind what they're going to treat you like. Like net, they will ignore you. Most of the time, some artists just ignore you. It's okay. It's okay. But those who are not going to ignore you, talk with them. And don't be afraid that artists are going to ignore me or they're not going to talk to me. Go out there. Because that's, the, that's the reason, I, again, I said um, nobody believes in you. In that case, what I mean is you yourself, you should believe in yourself before you want acceptance from other people. So nobody is going to believe in you if you, you don't believe in yourself. I wish that is clear. So making a relationship with other artists is okay. You get a lot of info, they tell you a uh, lot of stuff. Their first performances or their experiences in so so places, which that info you need, because most of the uh, most of the time, artists are not that informed in many certain areas in this industry, because there are a lot of areas in this industry. There's performance part, in, um, there is um, management, there's record label, there's a lot. It's a very big industry. What you need is info and up to details. Do the homework, don't be lazy on doing the homework. So the more info you get, the more alert you become in this industry. Then I'm trying to find uh, something which I said back so that I can try to explain it as short as I can so that we understand each other where we are. Okay, right. Uh, the other thing which I, I've communicated to say, you have a good communication skills. This is very crucial, very, very crucial. Know how to talk with the people. You know how to handle your audience. This is something you should learn. It's not something you're going to be born now with. You, you, you have to learn how to handle your audience, how to handle uh, the management of certain places, how to handle um, the people who are coming to you. 
uh, talking with you because more on as we go you have to have uh merchandise which you're going to be selling let's say it's uh, music in the form of city um you should be able to know how to talk with the audience so that you can turn those audience into your followers from your followers into your fans then again like if people are following you it's, it's very good enough but if now they've become your fans it means they can drive all along to come and watch you play you just they're gonna start following you on um, instagram on your facebook or whatever um social um uh, platforms where they can follow you so you can just say yo we'll be playing in certain place this is the name of the place people who just show up those people who show up now they're fans it means that they believe in you they like your craft then you have to know how to keep those people with you so that you can get the numbers growing instead of saying okay this is what we thought it is but this guy is not that deep he's just shallow he's performing the same 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 regular song list um all right so communication skills as a musician is very important long back i will say it was not that important because the record label would take care of nearly everything you have your road managers your world, world managers all you have to do is to hit the stage play 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 your thing enjoy get down into it after that you just out of the stage you go to the car you go that was then now we need to know how to keep our fans very entertained in a warm place that's why i'm saying you, you you should know what to say when to say how to say it so that you don't turn uh people off okay the next thing which i'm going to be saying like the um the last thing which i have i i've uh, said um on the last clip um on the other clip is that there are certain places uh, in restaurants in festivals um what else uh, in hotels the thing which you should understand understand the people who go to those places usually they mean like the same audience but it's not the same audience again so before you go to any uh, location and have um play your gig there make sure that you understand uh the area of that place of, of that venue understand the people of that place and go early so that you can understand uh, what people like if like let's say it's a festival it's easy on a festival what you have to do usually given about 10 hour or less from an hour going down maybe like say, say 15 depending on this festival some festivals are big like three days festivals they've got a lot of artists line up they've got a lot of time other artists other festivals it's not that a uh, long time they just give you 20 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes so make sure that you hit the best of your songs those songs which you know that you can just play without any hiccups so on festivals make sure that you go there on time management of festivals are always uh very 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 tight on time if you miss your opportunity to go and do your sound test you may find yourself scrapping trying to come in because they may just say okay this is our next attitude coming so you may find yourself uh out of the program list so make sure that you're on time you are ready when you, um, you confirm with them that your exactly time which you'll be getting for sound check be there be there uh back the stage so that they cannot be looking for you they will be having a lot of what they're doing um on their hands their hands will be full so make sure that you are there yeah, is to work with that's what i'm trying to tell you. that's why i'm saying you should be able to uh to, to to have good relationship uh good relationships with uh people who are managing in your audience this is very crucial because those are the people who are going to be calling you next time so make sure that you are easy to work with you are there at the back of the stage you are ready to set up when you hit the stage make sure that you understand how many minutes you are given and don't try to start smooth and just Go for the easy, simple stuff which people can sing along. Don't try to bring back like complicated songs trying to prove that you can play hard songs. Don't do that. People are there just to have fun. It's not a competition. People are having fun. They may be, have been listening to many, many, many artists. So their ears already like, yeah, um, 
being hammered with a lot of stuff which is happening, a lot of entertainment. So just go to the Isa, um, easy songs, sing along songs. That's it. Then on the restaurant part, the few rules apply again. Be there in early. But when the restaurant part, sometimes we may be a regular player. So it becomes easier. I know what to do. I know what to expect. But make sure that you know how to hold your fans. Make sure that you keep them warm. Make sure that you attract them more and more. Because the numbers, they say a lot. So time is very important. Time is very important. Take your job very serious. The competition is really out there. I don't want to... Yeah, this is a long video today again. I'll just stop here, then I'll wrap it up next time. I love you. Respect.